Hello, my name is Christopher, and today I'm going to show you how to install IT tools on Portainer. So, a little bit about this series I'm going over home labs, from installing things, getting things set up, everything like that. So, if you're interested in that, subscribe, comment, like, and support the channel, and let's get started. I wanted to let y'all know about the Big Bear community. We just launched a uh, community on community.bigbeartechworld.com. It's based on Discourse. So, go on there, join it, and uh, say hi. So, Let's get back to your registered programming. So this is what will be installing today. It's a collection of handy online tools for developers with great UX. Uh, it's called IT Tools. Um, the functionalities are, it gives you a bunch of tools to pick from. If I go in here, you can see that a crypto uh, converter, web, images and videos, development, network, math, me measurements, text, data, and there's a lot of tools that can help you in the everyday. Um, I get cheat sheet, random port generator, um, encode, converters, really handy. And then a PDF signature, a checker, so, and a token generator. So that's what we'll be installing today. So I'm gonna start on Big Bear Video Assets. There will be a link on the YouTube description to get to this. And I'm gonna scroll down to uh, how to install IT tools on Portainer right here. And then I'm gonna go in the Docker Compose. So version 3.9 of Docker Compose is being used. I'm gonna set some services and then service underneath the service called IT tools. The image is coming off Docker Hub because there's no URL before this. And this is the Docker image, and then this is the Docker image tag. Um, the map port start down here, so 8080 is on the host, and if this does collide with another port on your host, you can change it to like 8081 or something like that. Um, this is the container port. Uh, you do not change the container port. I'm gonna set a restart policy of, of unless stopped. So that means if you stop it for any reason, it will not try to restart. But if it fails or any other reason, then it will try to restart. I'm gonna come down here to container name and I'm gonna put IT tools in. So uh, now I'm gonna go over here to copy raw file. And then I'm gonna go over to my portainer and get this and, uh, set up and installed. So I wanted to let you know uh, about the Big Bear Club. All right, uh, uh, you can join it, and it greatly supports this channel, and I very much appreciate it. So, uh, if you'd like to join the Big Bear Club, you can go down the YouTube description and uh, go to my Ko-Fi link and join it from there. So, let's get back to registered programming. So, now I'm going to start on my Portainer. I'm going to go to Local, and then Stacks, and then Add Stack up here. And all Stack is, is using the uh, Docker repos underneath. So, I'm going to na name the Stack... Um, IT tools uh, stack and then now once you do that you're going to go down here to the web editor and you're going to paste in the docker compose and then now you can say deploy the stack down here and what this is doing is it's downloading the docker container in the background from the registry getting it extracted and getting it up with docker compose underneath this does run on the docker uh, engine underneath so um so now we got it up and running. So now I'm going to go over the stack options and uh, stacks are, are, are Docker composed underneath. So I'm going to go in IT tools. So you'll see stack and you'll see your action down here. So stop this stack, delete the stack, create template from the stack. You can also go in the editor and you can change your Docker compose and then you come down here and update the stack. Now, repull image and redeploy means it's going to repull the image off the uh, Docker registry getting extracted and getting it back up and uh, update the local cache also and redeploy it. So um, you can toggle this on or off and then press the update. Um, so you can see your containers down here and what's running and access controls. So that's a little bit about the stack options in Portainer. So now I'm going to go over the container options in Portainer. So you can see the table down here, the published ports, the IP address of your Docker container, the, the image, the stacks, the quick actions, state, and I'm gonna go into the IT tools now. 
So you see your actions up here. So start, stop, kill, restart, pause, resume, remove, recreate, duplicate, slash edit. You can see your container status down here. Um, you can see logs, great for debugging. And inspect, stats, console, attach. You can see your access control and then your create image. Container details, so you can see your, your port configuration. So on the host is 8080 and on the container is 80. Um, you can see your command, entry point, environment variables, the labels, the restart policy, and you can change it here and then press the update. You can see the connected networks down here. So it created a bridge network for IT tools. So that's a little bit about the container options in Portainer. So now uh, we're gonna go to the UI. So you're gonna uh, type in your IP address for your portainer, and then you're gonna add 8080 on the end for the port. So I'm going to return or enter. So now you can see it's working. So you can see all the uh, different tools over here. There's quite a bit. And you can collapse the sidebar and enable it again. You can go up here to search, so you can type in hash text, and then you can go to the tool directly. So there's a bunch of tools, really. Token generator, hash text, bcrypt, UIDs, and then you can actually generate more UIDs like that. So uh, ULIDs, and then encrypt, decrypt, and then HMAC, RSA, key pair generator, password strength, so, a lot of tools, and they're very handy. So, I just went over everything to get IT tools running on Portainer. Um, so, if you like this tutorial, subscribe, comment, like, and support the channel. And if you have any video suggestions or you need community support, you can go down to the Big Bear community and join our forum. There's a link in the YouTube description. So, stay tuned for more.